All right, here we are, guys, back for a shootout here. And, oh, wow. Not the wind I was hoping for. So what I usually do is a long iron. Um, you're going to have to split the way that you do it. So what I'm going to do is about maybe plus 25% here with this much of a uh, headwind. And I'm also going to try to play off the fringe. So here you can see my opponent. It looks like he's trying to aim off the fairway. Um, I'm going to recommend that you, in, into a headwind like this, that you try to play it off the very front of the green with kind of as much backspin as you can, as opposed to landing on the fairway. Um, you'll have a tendency to maybe come up short if you land there. So let's see how this runs out. And there, there you can see that it does come up short, um, kind of very similarly to what I was mentioning. And, you know, something that you'll want to be thinking about for your shot. And, uh, you know, I will play very close to max. So whatever my number is here, 16.4 rings. As I mentioned, you know, I'm going to also try to go right here off the fringe fairway as opposed to uh, landing on the... Uh, and you can see with what I need to do with my rings... And as I mentioned, you know, I'll go very close to max in this situation. So you need to make sure that you're accounting for, you know, that's 17 rings there. So let's just see how this looks. Perfect ball. <clears throat> looks like I just got to the fairway and eh, kind of came up short as well. So we're both kind of in the same boat. It's going to come down to fractions of inches on this one. Or maybe, you know, within a yard, we both kind of did the same mistake and it looks like you know fractions of a yard just got inside my ball but you can see that uh, you know taking it up there and landing it on the green is going to give you you know a little bit better opportunity to not come up short all, all I had to do is kind of push through just a couple more rings there and uh, I would have been good to go so th those are my tips for that third tee box but also keep in mind, you know, with tailwind or sidewind, I'm probably going to go at it with a B-52. So it's kind of an isolated case of what I did there. But just make sure that you're using this extra elevation. You can see I still came up short. So um, even with keeping my ball guide long, even with going 17 rings on a 13, still came up short. So it's just a nice learning experience there for you guys um, as to what you'll need to do. Because most people aren't going to go as many rings as I just did. So if you do... Um, you're going to give yourself a very good chance to win.